Hey there! Hello and once again welcome to Biopandit, your one-stop comprehensive bioinformatics training platform. I am delighted to introduce myself as sort of your very own Mahapandit and today I am going to talk about a topological parameter of DNA, the linking number. Topological aspects of DNA structure arise primarily from the fact that the two DNA strands are repeatedly interwined. Let us think about how to untangle these two strands. Consider a simple case of a linear DNA in solution. You can untangle the two strands just by pulling them in two different directions. No covalent bonds are breaking. But if you consider a circular DNA, the scenario is entirely different. Without breaking the phosphodiester bonds, you simply cannot completely separate the two strands. Remember guys that for all natural DNAs, this scenario is true. Rotation of their free ends is either restricted or completely forbidden. This means untangling the two strands of all biological DNA are topologically impossible. Let me show you a hypothetical circular DNA molecule. See, you cannot separate the two strands without breaking any one of them. A DNA segment constrained in such a way that its ends cannot rotate freely is called a topological domain. A few examples of topological domains are shown here. Circular DNA is one example which is typical of bacteria, mitochondria, chloroplasts and many viruses. In this case, there are no DNA ends at all since both DNA strands are covalently closed. The chromosomal DNA of eukaryotes is linear overall, but they consist of large DNA loops firmly attached to the nuclear matrix. These loops represent topological domains, that is, they are equivalent to circular DNA topologically. Similarly, DNA attached to the membrane and those attached to proteins behave as similar topological domains. The fundamental topological parameter of a closed circular DNA is called the linking number. Assume that one DNA strand is the edge of an imaginary surface and count the number of times the other strand crosses this surface. The algebraic sum of all intersections is the linking number. Two important features of linking number are evident from this figure. First, linking number is always an integer. Second, linking number cannot be changed by any deformation of the DNA strands which means it is topologically invariant. The only way to change linking number is to introduce a break in one or both DNA strands, rotate the two strands relative to each other and then seal the break again. Keep in mind guys that this is exactly what DNA topoisomerase enzymes do.